All right, maybe this can be a mega video. Super, all the Super Bowl trailers. Uh, my webcam is on the wrong spot. Hold on. All right, so I guess all of the Super Bowl trailers. How superb is the owl? Uh, they're all in one spot in a handy little article here. Let's just jump into it. Thanks, the Telegraph. I had to access your website via archive.is instead of using your real website because you made me try to do a trial for a thing and it's like oh do you want to access the content yeah for free Happy birthday. all right holy shit Seven, almost 18 million views in two days all right do we have nope Marvel Entertainment has not invented 4k not even for their Super Bowl Happy birthday. not even for their Super Bowl advert all right, have they invented subtitles? Let's see. Yes. Right, okay. Um, it's been a challenging few years. Well, I don't even remember anything that happened in the first two. I'm sorry. Like, retrospectively, I think I, I think I gave them, I think I gave the first one maybe a f six. I'm feeling like generous, like that was generous now. Did I give the second one a six? I don't think I gave either of them higher than a seven. They feel like a five now because I don't remember anything about them other than the things that I don't like about them. I don't remember anything that I liked about them is the problem. The things that I liked about those first two films were things that I that I liked so mildly that they don't have an impression on me anymore and I just don't remember them. Oh, R-rated, yeah. That would have been a thing for the time. Yeah, R-rated superhero maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That would have been the things I enjoyed, but I still don't remember those parts anymore. Like, I guess, I guess those parts weren't even that, like, crazy. For sure. But I'm happy. That is because of each and every one of you. I am the luckiest man alive. More like the cuckiest. Got him. Make a wish, buddy. That... Reminds me of 96 Neve Campbell by Clipping. <laughs> A really good song. <laughs> this bitch boss came for the neck. Who next? Wade Wilson? Who's asking? The Super Squad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that supposed to be scary? Pegging isn't new for me, friendo. But it is for Disney. <sighs> oh, yeah. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, is there is there a reference about... Oh, just because this is the first, like, R-rated Disney film now? Is that the case? That's... I mean... Well, the first two were R-rated, right? And it's like, what? The first two, but it was Fox. Oh, 20th Century Fox, now Disney owns it. But Disney has produced R-rated films before under like, what, Touchstone Entertainment? So this wouldn't be the first time that they've released something that's R-rated and you know, it's a subsidiary of something that they own and they're not putting the logo Disney on it. So it's not the first time. In the MC... I don't know. Ah, whatever. Who cares? <sighs> Unless they actually show pegging, then it's full, they're full of shit, okay? I want to see full penetration pegging, okay? Mr. Wilson, you appear to have soiled... Oh, it's the guy. <laughs> the guy from uh Thank you. Succession. yourself while on Is he also the same guy? No, he I think he reminds me of a guy that was in Shaun of the Dead, unless that also is him. Who was the guy that like Simon Pegg's character didn't like? Is that the same guy or not? I don't know. Yourself while unconscious. It's not him, yeah. It reminds me of him. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? Why am I here? Walk with me. This is so epic and cool. I'm going to see it nine times. 
damn. Okay, this got louder. Hold on. Did I just... I was like, did I just get a Jeremy Johns jump scare? A JJJ on my play next. That's what it is. Wait. You are special. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. Oh. Wait. Oh, yeah. So now it's in the... M okay, thank you. You were saying it in chat, and I didn't even fucking understand. <laughs> Because I just like these things, these things are so disposable to me in terms of something that is meaningful that like leaves an impression. You know, I can only remember the parts I've made fun of. I can only re I can only remember the parts that I like had a gripe with. Like, what was it in like Iron Man 3? He like had the, the the president had his number or something, and it was like that was funny. I don't even remember. <laughs> like, uh, you could you could have told me that Deadpool was a part of the MCU this whole time. I would have believed you. I would have believed you. I. Nah, yeah. I don't even think I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> like. I'm so I'm so fatigued and I've kind of accepted the cultural shift at this point where it's like I don't know should I be contributing to this if we're all kind of fatigued a little bit I don't know I think it would be a waste of time I think I think it would be a waste of time and I'm already kind of busy I smell what you're stepping in sensei your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. What if we did the Avengers in Marvel, but we broke the fourth wall and it was self-aware? What if Marvel was making fun of itself? I'm the Messiah. I am Marvel Jesus. So, yeah, whatever. There was a butt. There was a butt shot and a crotch shot. I do like Ryan Reynolds better with a mask on, covering his face at all times. I think he's a better actor and a better character actor when you don't see him. That's what the mask is. So I've seen this clip because somebody posted it on Twitter saying Deadpool three is going to like undebatably have the best cinematography of any superhero movie ever that so i've seen i've seen this upcoming one the the gunshot oh it says 20th century fox in the background that's kind of funny damn is this going to be like a real like going into the movies sort of thing is he going to be like are the marvel is the marvel cinematic universe going to exist as films in this universe and then he goes into the universe of those films Yeah, I'm finally interested <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so that's the um, undebatably going to be the best cinematography. That's the shot. God, oh my fuck! Sorry, did you say oh my fuck? Oh, I love the arm break. I like that. Yeah, okay, maybe I'll watch it. Maybe it'll be a one and done. Maybe I'll give it a really generous six out of ten. Or maybe I'll future proof my review by giving it a five. Yeah, <laughs> oh my fuck! Okay. Oh nice. God, I love this part. Wait! I'm interested in seeing it, but I'm not interested in seeing it in a crowd. So I don't know how I'm going to. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to solve that issue. Oh, yeah. Wolverine's in it. He's in the fucking name. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, this that's how that's how little I I just I really just don't. Oh man. And then someone's gonna comment being like, "Oh, you think you're better because you don't like this?" It's like, no, it's just my it's my taste. I just know myself. I'm being honest about the media I consume and experience my experiences with said media. Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. You damn dirty ape. Nope, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, it's Hugh Jackman, isn't it? How come Wolverine gets shit fun? Is he a football team? All right, that was, uh... Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? I mean, everybody. <laughs> it's, 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 I can't say that. I'm not... Okay, all right. Um... What the fuck is Wicked? It's a musical that people like? I don't know what this is. Nope. Disney, not interested in 4K. The best way to bring folks together. Why does every fucking trailer start with this fucking piano note? Like, why? So many of them just. The best way. It's so. Everything's just. Everything's just a regurgitation of a regurgitation. Okay, so this is. Is this fucking Wizard of Oz? <laughs> to bring folks together. Something There's a yellow brick. Oh, it's it's based off Wizard of Oz. Okay. Is to give them a real good enemy. <gasps> a real good enema? Sorry. You're green. <laughs> I'm a green boy now. <laughs> Just Damn. Why'd the movie have to go woke? <laughs> By having a black green person. <laughs> why did it why did they race swap the green person to black green? You, but green still, but you can tell they're black. It just takes over me. And when it does, bad things happen. Once. So is that that's actually Ariana. Oh, and it's fucking Oscar winner, whose name I keep fucking forgetting every single time. I keep, I'm never going to remember her name. And I... The first thing... Michelle Yeoh, thank you. There's another less famous actor who is also an Asian woman that I know it's not. And every time I see M Michelle Yeoh's face, I don't think it's her, but the name pops in my... Yes, yeah, Sandra Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra O. Oh. It's two syllables and then an O sound at the end. And like I just I don't say it cuz it's you know. <laughs> I don't it's I I'm not even saying they look the same. I'm just the name just pops into my head. It's just so annoying. You learn to harness your emotions. The sky's the limit. Sorry. Oh yeah, it's Disney. I was about to be like, why does this get a Super Bowl ad? <laughs> Cause it's Disney and they have money, that's why. I can't see any fucking detail. It's universal. Look at how shit this looks. Look how shit this looks. You're welcome, Olivia. I zoomed for you. But I shouldn't do that all the time because it will fuck up my wrist. Oops. Brim. The lion's an actual lion? What the fuck? What the heck? What the frick? Okay. Yeah, I mean, fucking John Favreau had a part in this, I guess. Oh, Jeff. You weren't kidding when you said Jeff Goldblum. I think they showed him earlier, and I just didn't even... It didn't even register. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. It's the wizard who should be afraid of me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was like the perfectly cut scream pause, and it set. It sounded like it was gonna be the fucking Wonder Woman <laughs> soundtrack. Let's see if it's actually gonna be the Wonder Woman soundtrack slash Dune soundtrack. 
<laughs> nah, almost. It was we were, we almost got there. <laughs> okay. All right, that makes a bit more sense. All right. Thanks, killing. Thanks, grib. Thanks, grifting. <laughs> Thanks, grifting. Okay, it is universal. Wow. Why did I think it was Disney? Oh, because it's a fuck. I thought it was. The reason why I thought it was Disney is literally just because of how this thumbnail looks. <laughs> Sorry. Is <laughs> literally just because of this. This image just seemed like a Disney movie. This image, I was, I didn't even look at the fact that it said Universal. I was like, okay, there's only one media company that's this woke, right? Having two girls and one of them is black green. I was like, that's Disney. Come on. All right. A Quiet Place Day One. Okay, so Paramount. We're going to see here. All right. Boop. Oh, boy. Paramount. Pictures. Has everybody given up on 4K? Who was the last person to do it? D what, like Dune Trailer 2, right? Warner Brothers. Max. Everybody gave up? I think Lionsgate did it once. Like, they've all been... Is there no, like, single person managing the content on these channels? Or is the turnover rate so high that the person uploading 4K on some of them just, like, isn't there anymore? Or is there, like, no cohesion between different films? Like, there's no standard? There's no standard. All right, 15, 14 million views. Um... <laughs> I hate how everything asks you to text a number so they can steal your number and spam you with ads. Text be quiet <laughs> to blah, blah, blah. Shh. <laughs> ah. Oh, it's mi the, Kr the Krasinski himself. Kr Krasman. Jim Krangle. Oh yeah, we also started with a piano here. Not qu not exactly the same note. Let's see how many trailers start with like let's see if they're like a serious not Deadpool trailer. Let's see how many of them start with just like soft piano. Let's see how many of them do that. I like that you spend money on a Super Bowl ad and so far it's just footage from the first movie, but And then the second... So, Killian Murphy was in the second one. I forgot. And I didn't watch it, but I forgot that he was in it. Future Oscar winner, Killian Murphy. Damn, it's so loud in this city. They're honking so much. The director of Pig? Okay, well... I liked Pig. I liked Pig, but I'm not sure it was necessarily the directing that I liked the most about it, at least from like a visual standpoint. So maybe, I don't know, cinematography, but it depends how involved the director is in that. All right. Why did they replace John Krasinski with a black person? What? Like day zero before he went white? <laughs> Yo, why did they replace... <laughs> Yo. Why did they replace New York with black people? <laughs> is that New York? Manhattan? Where is this? There is a kitty. Is that Lupita? That'd be crazy if she was in it. I don't know. I don't think that's her. That's not her. It is? No way. Wow. I don't know. I mean, she did, like, really, really great in uh, Us. She was the best part of that movie, for sure. Damn, the effects look terrible. Which is probably why they don't want you watching it in 4K. I didn't even check with this one, did I? Well... 
unfinished movie. You know, whatever. This is a Super Bowl ad. When is this coming out? Oh, yeah, her name's in the fucking... In the fucking YouTube... I like to go in with nothing, and so I just ignore all of the text. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I didn't even know Wolverine was in the Deadpool movie also just an FYI I'm it might seem like I have some energy right now and I do thanks to an energy drink that I drank one third of like 12 hours ago but I've been busy as fuck I've been absolutely fucking busy as fuck so exhausted I wrote up a huge, like, draft for a script and recorded, like, a huge rant on fucking Elemental uh, that's going to be in the Oscars video that is very time-sensitive because I need to get it out before the Oscars, and so I'm just, like, fucking crunching on that shit. Went to the gym, um, and I made a meal. I actually cooked food. That seemed goofy, that little interaction. It might be better in the context of the film, but so far I'm like not, I'm not digging the editing of this and the pacing of this. I know it's a trailer. It's edited very differently than the movie, maybe. I just, I just don't like how they're presenting it so far. This is really uh, meh. But yeah, the, the film could could be entirely different. What? Pacing and editing wise. Do we discover why? I think part of what made A Quiet Place successful, you know, what made the, the parts of it that did work, what made it work even though as a whole, it didn't work for me, even though the script really didn't work for me. Part there are parts of the film that did work, and part of what made it work was the was the the really tight. I wish that my mind wasn't forgetting words. I know what I'm trying to say, and the words aren't coming. The really uh, low scale, you know, the low scale nature of it, small scale. Thank you. As in, thanks, my own brain, who's struggling right now. The small-scale nature of it is part of what made it work. Yeah. Because, I don't know, they're going to have to be really weird about the plot here if there's going to be any quiet parts. Like, how fast are people going to die? How fast are people going to die... <laughs> For there to be parts where people have to be quiet. Also, this <laughs> this is a really weird looking shot. I don't know what's going on. Like this patch is really is it because there's motion in this frame? What's going on? What is that shot? Why does it look so like? Sorry, what's going on in this shot? It looks like a fucking like half AI, half Neil Breen. This is a, like, like there are things that were composited in but are just kind of like fade affected into the shot. Like, what? It looks like so, it looks like so many different fucking layers and it doesn't make a cohesive picture. This is a bad shot. I hope it looks better in the movie, but, you know, Super Bowl trailer was probably rushed for this date. Damn, that's a... What the hell's going on? Is it, like, stylized? I don't understand this. There seems to be, like, repeating... Oh, is this through a window, maybe? There's probably a shot through a window. That would ex that would help explain some things. This might be a POV shot through a window that was just footage that they have that um, will be used in context in the movie, that's possible. Sorry, who's this? Is he a surgeon? 
Yeah, he's a surgeon. Okay. I wish th I wish this wasn't so low quality and low fucking no detail. <sighs> White face. I'm going to I can't damn it. I'm going to cancel John Krasinski. I was going to say I'm going to cancel John and then it sounded then I thought okay, what if that's interpreted as like KKK? And I think he's Jewish. <laughs> and so I was like, I shouldn't say that. That wasn't my intention, but something happened in my brain. All right. Oh, it's, it's brocane. Anyway, we got white face now. <coughs> you can't. You got to be quiet. There's no way this film takes place in a day if there's any of them being quiet right now. How how many? I guess it depends how many of them invade at once and how quickly they kill everybody or like what their strat. Like they eat people, right? I forgot. Yeah, whatever. Well, they're being loud, so should it matter if you're quiet? Well, oops. Looks boring. It looks really boring. The second one didn't even get like great reviews, so who cares? And yeah, like, I don't know if Lapita could save that one. It looks really boring. I have a funny feeling that I'm not going to connect with any Super Bowl trailers. I have a funny feeling that these are not for me. I have a funny feeling that most of the movies I get excited for don't have a marketing budget high enough to have a Super Bowl trailer. But let's see if Hi, maybe there's something that breaks that trend because I would love I would love to be excited for something today and not want to Minecraft myself. At the end of a very long day, I would love to not feel like Minecrafting. Oh, thanks for listening to my music. All right, here we go. John Krasinski, director of the upcoming film, If. Yeah, I heard. If is a movie about what? You're not John Krasinski. I heard, uh, I heard that there was a Asian Jim reference. I don't even remember. When in the office did that happen? How, f how many seasons into it? I stopped watching after the wedding, basically. Okay, then I didn't make it that far. The 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 first like two the wedding was the episode was terrible and cringe, and it was start there were starting to be a few terrible cringe episodes like sprinkling in there, and then the next season after that like literally the next season I I was watching through like I don't know the first like two or three episodes and they were all fucking awful so fucking bad. And I, I just, I think I was with my friends or something, and we were watching it. And I turned to them and I was like, "Why are we even watching? We're like, we're not even enjoying this." And I never looked back. Something's happening, dude. Why was the grimace shake only in the states for a limited amount of time? I missed my window of opportunity to try it. I got massive FOMO over the Grimace shake. Is what I'm getting out of this trailer. It's happening. I'm a big McDonald's kind of guy. Yeah. Um, Ryan Reynolds gets to be in two Super Bowl commercials. Wait, did we start with piano again? What? You're not John Reynolds. No. We didn't. Something's happening. Okay, it's just there's light piano in the background making a similar kind of emotional. Yeah. I'm just shocked that enough people would even know what Asian Jim is. 
it's crazy that enough people watched that far into the office. <laughs> Get it? Imaginary? Friend? It's so boring. It's so this looks so lifeless. This looks like this year's doolittle or some shit. Oh, we're imaginative and full of wonder and somebody made this for some reason. I'm not gonna ask you again. Put some pants on, you're freaking everyone out. Another quiet place. So John Krasinski, Ryan Reynolds has two Super Bowl commercials, and John Krasinski has two Super Bowl commercials. They're huge. What the frick? That's too many. They're greedy. How many more of these? This uh, I don't know why I decided to do this. It's good. I think it's a good idea to keep this all in one video. <laughs> we can have all the different posters in the thumbnail or something well you know maybe it won't be I'll, I'll leave that up to you olivia but whatever i think it's worth a try see how it is all right sorry hold on ape roars new trailer yes <laughs> Is it loud? Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Are you familiar with? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a funny picture. I like that. What the hell is the guy? <laughs> The concept of oh my god, really? The concept of evolution. Evolution, dude. Is Vaporeon gonna be in this movie? What the frick? Which one is the best evolution? I don't know if I know all their names. Which one's the black one? I think the black one looks cool. Is that uh, Umbreon? They look cool. Yeah, the trans one was that. Which one's that? Sylveon? All right. In their time, humans were capable of many. I don't. Things. I don't like how every. I like this is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel actually kind of defeated that every single fucking. Super Bowl trailer that we've watched is 1080p. I f like it feels like I'm losing now. I thought I was winning. Remember that one week where it felt like we were winning? I feel like I'm taking an L. I feel like we're all taking an L. I feel like history will vindicate me. But we're still in the dark ages. I'm pit I'm pissed. Things. They could fly like eagles fly. Sorry, who could fly? Eevees? Things. Oh, humans. They could fly like eagles fly. Not quite like that, but you know. They could speak across oceans. True. Oh, are they going to try? Oh, wait, are the, all, the hu all the humans are dumb now. And still care about whether or not their junk is showing. We kept that. We at least kept that part of human culture is covering up our sin parts. We're still very afraid of nudity. <laughs> We've re we returned to monkey, but kept the worst parts about being a human. <laughs> we've 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 thrown out all the cool parts and kept the worst parts. We're all very afraid of nudity still. But now it is our time. And also none of these monkeys even have genitals. <laughs> Cause it's for children and we're because it's made by humans, really. It's because it's made by humans. It is my 
kingdom. We will learn. Apes will learn. <sighs> so boring. <laughs> it's so boring. Isn't it crazy? Isn't it crazy? Like it's. It is kind of weird that like live action animals in film, it's not R rated if you don't censor their junk. It's just we accept it and it's nature. National Geographic can be shown like G rated audiences and shit, right? But as soon as you involve a human in the design of an animal character, then even if they're like not anthropomorphic or whatever, you know, it's still like, oh, we got to censor it, which is just like, we're the ones paying extra attention to it. Like, we're the ones making an exception. I just find it odd. Human beings have so many fucking stupid taboos. I will learn. And I. Like, there's no reason for it. There's literally no reason for it other than just we do it because other people have done it. There was a fucking... What, I gotta look this up. There was an experiment. I think this is it. Oh, hypothetical. What? I thought this actually happened. Well, maybe I just heard an anecdote. Why would they, if, why would they make a hypothetical experiment about monkeys and not do it in real life? Okay, I gotta find this. It never happened? God damn it. What? Fuck. Oh yeah, it's probably unethical. I I was like, I was literally, I told this to someone for the first time ever, by the way, <laughs> like four days ago. And at that part in the story, I'm like, yeah, they they like decentivize the monkey somehow. I don't remember how they. Like, I, don't remember. I don't even remember where I heard this. Oh, okay, soaked them them with cold water. So from the sci, I could imagine from the scientist's perspective, it's like, well, we're just soaking them with cold water, and then the other monkeys beat each other up. I'm just gonna give a, give a paraphrasing. Um, scientists place five monkey monkeys in a cage. I'm not even gonna paraphrase. I'm gonna read it from whatever the fuck this image is. Uh, ladder with a banana on top. Every time a monkey goes up the ladder, scientists soak the rest of the monkeys with cold water. After a while, every time a monkey went up the ladder, the other ones beat up the one on the ladder because the monkeys would learn. Um, after some time, no monkey dared to go up the ladder regardless of the temptation. Scientists then decided to substitute one of the monkeys. The first thing this uh, new monkey did was go up the ladder. Immediately, the other monkeys beat him up. After several beatings, the new member learned not to climb the ladder, even though we never knew why. Uh, so yeah, this is, why the f- I- I'm pissed to find out it was fake. I get, like, I agree with the idea that it's getting at and the thought, uh, experiment that it's getting at. It's a, it's, it's, it's talking about, like, both pack mentality and, like, um, you know, doing something that's like an inherited norm. And eventually over time, the idea was you replace monkeys one at a time until every single monkey that exists that is there still beats up the monkey for trying to go up the ladder, but none of the ones that are beating him up have ever experienced the reason for why they're beating them up. So all of the monkeys that um, take part in the pack mentality to discourage the new monkey from going up the ladder who doesn't know, all of the ones who take part in the pack mentality were, were never exposed to getting soaked in water. And it's just one of those like, you know, they're just doing it because they were doing it and they're in a society or an environment of where like that's the norm to do and that's what we do. We're supposed to do that, right? Apparently that never happened. <laughs> um, I want to keep this in the video, by the way. Don't fucking remove this shit. But that's how I feel about a lot of things. And now I'm like, okay, fuck. I gotta, I gotta search up some other experiment to confirm my biases. Damn. 
Fuck. <laughs> I'll keep searching. <laughs> Wait, you're wearing full clothes. Who the heck are you? That's probably why she's running. That's probably why they're mad. They're like, how'd you make clothes? They're trying to stop the human. Oh, I get it. They're trying to keep the humans oppressed. They're like, dude, humans were like based ones. But if we let them get smart with Steve Carell, then, you know, they'll be racist towards us, which I mean, they have every uh, incentive to stop humans from dominating again because uh, I think some things happened in the first three movies. I don't remember. I think maybe some things happen. Legend says... Whose voice is that? And human lived side by side. Impossible as that may seem. Why do they hunt her? She's smarter than most. The elders. <sighs> Why is it? These movies are so fucking boring. Did not tell us everything about this world. Bend for your king. It's so funny that I committed to doing the whole, like, every Super Bowl thing, and I'm just like, I'm realizing how much of a mistake this is. Apes hunt humans. That is wrong. <laughs> that is wrong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that is wrong. Morals. I love how that, like, all the fucking soundtrack music dropped for that. Like, that was like, oh, shit. This is so, it's just so boring, like, it's lather, rinse, repeat, you know, every, how many trailers have, like, it's going to cut to black before, like, they connect, right? Or are they going to connect? They might? Let's find out. Little bit of both. <laughs> Whoa! Didn't this happen at the end of the second movie? Eh, nothing there. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Together. Together. Ape strong? No. You will die. It's so, like... Everything's so simple. Everything is just so simple. And so familiar and safe and unchallenging. And like, yeah, this is the villain. They're going to do the thing. It's the, the, everything. Like, wh what's the point? What's the point? What's the point of any of this? Die. How would it? I just don't. I just don't relate. I don't relate. I don't relate. I can't. Why do, why do people just want to watch the things they've already seen? <laughs> no, together. More cliff falling, you know, like we're doing some cliff. We're doing some Kimba. Dude, they stole this scene from Kimba. <laughs> what the fuck? No, together, strong. Oh, they did say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, there's Deadpool at least, at the very least, in the second half of Deadpool versus Wolverine trailer, it showed enough like interesting action where I'm like, okay, this has like a bit there's, there's like a bit of a reason to see this. Like my mind was changed by the end of that one. I was like, okay, yeah, maybe I'll see this in theaters. You know, one and done. This has nothing. This has absolutely nothing. It's going to be PG-13. 
nothing serious is going to happen the entire movie. Everything is going to be as like it's going to follow the formula that every other movie has followed ever, which is what the first three movies did. It's uh, what's the point? What's the point in watching? Like I've seen it. I've seen it already. I don't get it. I just don't understand. Who cares? And I keep saying that, and it's always everyone. <laughs> I keep saying who cares, and it's just it's me who doesn't care. I feel so out of place. But that is that is where we YMS apes are strong together. Is um. We have a kinship in our own lack of connection with <laughs> the rest of the world. Uh, at least I'm consistent, you know. Like people can pretty like people people know my fans, my subreddit. People, I think people generally know what type of movie I'm going to enjoy and what type of movie I'm not going to enjoy. I saw Tar in theaters because people were like, hell yeah, Adam would enjoy the shit out of this. And I'm like, oh. And then I did. I was like, wow, this is like literally the type of movie that I would like. You know? It's offering, it's offering the types of things. It's new. It's challenging. It's thought-provoking. You know, super well shot. It's ripe for rewatches. So at least I'm consistent. Oh, Amblin. When's the last time you've seen an Amblin logo? Okay, I'm going to turn this down some more. I'm sorry. Is this still too loud? Let me know if I want to turn it down. He did that for F Fabemans? Guys, whatever's in there, it's big and it's moving fast. Drive. Go, 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 go. I don't have a strong enough connection with the first film, which I did watch when I was younger, for sure. Probably more than once. Actually, for sure more than once. All I remember is the opening scene. Which is, I'm pretty sure I've, I remember having that experience. I'm pretty sure I've rewatched the movie and gone into it being like, I'm rewatching this because I only remember the opening scene. And then having the exact same thing happen again. You know? Sorry, you know, there's a better Twister film out there. <laughs> it's called Hurricane Heist, okay? Hurricane Heist. It's a big piece of shit, but it's funny because it's bad, <laughs> right? Give me something interesting. Give me something like uniquely well made or uniquely poorly made ah! we got the same font i can't believe i twister member berries was not on my fucking 2024 bingo list is this like are there enough people that like really fondly like actually love the original twister like i know it's a big movie but like yeah this is a super bowl trailer it's tyler owens calls him oh shit it's the hitman himself calls himself the tornado wrangler if you feel it i'm still pissed None of these have been in 4K. I said if you feel it. All right, here we go. Okay, I do like that we kind of have this this angle. Almost feels like a dash cam or like GoPro shot. Uh, the lighting's a little different on it too. I like this angle. That's about all I like so far. I liked Hitman. Is that did that get released like properly? Or is that coming to Netflix like or something? 
You thought you could destroy a tornado. Did, like, did people see that outside of TIFF yet? June 2020. Wow. Damn, that's a big delay. Shit, that's like almost a year. I liked that movie. It was good. We never had a chance. Oh, yeah, it got, went to Sundance after. That's interesting. Oh, it probably just only had a Canadian premiere, and then it'll be counted as a 2024 American film or something. You want one? You don't face your fears. <sighs> this was a huge mistake. I should never do this again. If I ever... If next year... Someone comes up with a great idea of doing doing Super Bowl trailers. Every Super Bowl trailer, and I'm like, I'm gonna do every Super Bowl trailer. Fucking remind me how terribly this went. This is this is this is joyless for everybody. Nobody's enjoying this. You ride them. Twins! Austin Powers gold member? Yeah. Sorry. Horsey. <laughs> 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 you know this guy's actually a good actor like he was really good in it man yeah i like him and i forget his name Was that it? glenn powell nope is that his name glenn powell What's the name of the composer of Happy Happy Feet then? It's a similar name, right? John Powell, thank you. All right. Please no more. Let's see. Are there any left? Let's see. Growing down the Oh god damn, damn it. All right, I'm just going to open up these tabs this and then has... I'll know how many are left before I even Oh. All right. Some of these are just like TV spots or what? Okay. There's two left. Thank Christ. Jesus. Oh. <sighs> Philip Seymour Hoffman was in the original. Well, maybe I should rewatch it or something. All right. Uh, the Fall Guy, Ryan Reynolds. Sorry. Ryan Gosling. <laughs> this film has everything. <laughs> Honestly, but I feel like it should be Ryan Reynolds based on like what the other trailer was like. This film has everything. Everything? Do you want to make out or? Nope. Oh, yes. How many people watched the Super Bowl? Do we know? Did it break records? Oh, yeah, they're both Canadian and Ryan's. This does not seem safe. One is the everyman for uh, soy incels, and the other is the everyman for a uh, cool scooter incels. <laughs> We're getting tangled. I like Reynolds. I mean, Gosling better. Hold the next position. Hold up. This is kind of funny. I like the noise that they make when it cut to it. Minerals. When are they going to reveal that the movie is not real? What's an ice crime? Are you saying ice cream or ice crime? Ice crime. Okay, it's just with your active, it's hard. I'm not reporting an ice cream. Yes, no, I get that. Okay. <sighs> oh. What did this director do again? Some shit I didn't like, right? Did this director do like a Deadpool movie? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, he did. <laughs> so that's why it feels like it should be. Oh, yeah, Bullet Train. That movie sucked. I can't believe that there's people that think it's underrated. Damn. A lot of movies that try really hard to be cool without being cool. You're like sexy bacon. What is this? You know? Gosling is so good, though, that I might see it if the stars align and if... I am in a certain place at a certain time. You need carbs. Unicorn. That's kind of cool. You know, if if Ryan Gosling was in every movie that Ryan Reynolds was in that I don't like, I think I would just like it better. Did I watch Bullet Train? You can't find an IMDb rating for it. Uh, Cat BF wanted to watch it, so we put it on, and uh, we both decided it was bad and shut it off after like an hour. So... I don't even I don't even know if I like I don't even know if we were interested enough to like skip through. the. I think it was like 30 minutes, actually. I think it was like 30 minutes and we were both like, this is terrible. So. What are you doing? Just chilling down. Are you even crying to Taylor Swift? Doesn't everyone? They said Taylor Swift in a Super Bowl commercial. That's a conspiracy. All right. Uh. It makes me vomit, these trailers. So we saw another Monkey Man trailer. Same movie, but I guess this is just a TV spot, so who cares? Why does this matter? Let's find out. Damn it. Why does it start from the beginning when I change the resolution to just enhance bitrate? Ugh. Oh, yeah, producer Peel. PP. Sorry, JP. Once. Producer Peel. Small PP. Ember. Can bond on everything. Dev. I'm director ready. Dev. DP. JP. PP. Uh, these are also just shots from the trailer that I watched and reacted to already. And we've seen yeah. nothing new. Monkey Man. Only. Although I dig the voice. I like that voice. If I could... <laughs> I want to meet... I want to meet that voice. Monkey Man. Yeah. I dig it. Monkey Man. <laughs> Only in theaters April 5th. I like the voice. Um, that was a huge waste of time. I'm so sorry to everybody that had to fucking watch this video. I feel bad about myself. I'm just... I think I'm going to react it. No, I'm going to react to more stuff tomorrow. I think I think uh I think we're I think we're going to take that L. Oh my god. Oh. That sucked. That sucked. That sucked. That sucked. And we are all in a worse place from having done that. I shouldn't have done that. I can't believe I did that. What did we think was going to happen? Hey, everybody. Olivia here. Thanks again for watching. It's February 2024, so let's go over the Patreon credits. My $5 and up patrons are Speak of the Joker, Silver Wind, Toby White, Scott S., Joan of Fart, 
Skinot on. Happy the Knife. Coolest Shirt. George Salazar. www.openclassactions.com. Emil. Blank. Judum the Kinslayer. T King. Saliv88. Electrica is an ordinary bad gamer. Yup, yup, yup. Caden Mack. The Super One Player. Zachary Kane. Gilly Flower. Purple Fire. Gabriel Herrera. And Lemonade Warrior is participating in the hit game Among Us and is considered the encroacher. Let me just say, you guys are all awesome. I was caught off guard by how many people left kind comments after last month's credits. It makes me happy to see people being so accepting. You guys are also, like, way too sweet. I'll admit I was a bit nervous at first about adding this avatar to videos, but it looks like I've mostly gotten positive feedback. Also, the post-credits talk in last month's video have given me a bit of an idea. Sometimes when Adam reacts to things, they're not long enough for mid-rolls and don't make as much revenue. So I think from now on I'll do like a bit of a Q&A segment after the credits. Just leave a question in the comments below and I'll pick a couple to answer in next month's credits. They'll be easier to find if my name is in the text somewhere. Also, if you have any fan art, you can send it to my email right here and I'll feature it in the end credits, as long as it's safe for work and relevant to YMS highlights. Take care, everyone, and thank you all for your support.